Okay, if you're like me, from time to time, you will get failures on your resin printers, and you will get something stuck on the vat that you'll want to take, you know, drain the vat out, clean the vat off, and take the failure off, and get it all wiped down and get it back in. But it's a huge pain in the butt, or I find it to be a huge pain in the butt to drain your vat because you got to get like a. What I use is a funnel, and I put that inside my resin bottle, you know, and then I hold, take my vat out. And I hold my vat up sideways here, and I drain it in. I don't like standing there for a hundred years holding my vat. So, like you, if I've looked on on a Thingiverse and all the other websites for a, a vat holder. I have a I have a Mighty Sonic Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K, which is a bigger vat, and then I have an Elegant Mars 2, which is a smaller vat. So I made this stand um, off of Thingiverse, and I'll, and I'll uh, the link to the the file will be in the in the description for this video. The top part I printed on on my Ender 3 uh, my Ender 3 version 2 FDM printer. You can see this. I just printed it in black. PLA, PLA, I think it's PLA plus, but you can do PLA. And then the bottom I printed on my frozen um, Sonic Mighty, Four, Mighty 4K. This is just an um, EPAX hard gray, but you can really use anything. Uh, I didn't need any supports for this. For this one, I printed it upright with supports. I used, um, I used heavy supports, but I probably could use medium supports. This took, I don't know, six hours to print on an FDM printer. This took about six hours to print on a on the um, resin printer. I The point is I made them both on two different printers to show you whatever printer you have, you can make one of these pretty easy. So this one could have made, this is FDM, this is resin. These could have both been FDM, this could have both been resin. But all it does is you print it out and then there's holes here for dowels. They're not 3 8 inch, they're like one size below. I don't have the link, I spray painted over them. But long story short, I got a three foot dowel at Home Depot for like a dollar. And then I cut it down to uh, 18 inches and 18 inches. And then I slid it on and what I did with me, whatever funnel or whatever system you use, I use a funnel from the dollar store. I put a funnel in this vat and in, in, in this bottle and in the Soriatech bottles, make sure it fit. I put a funnel and a filter in and then I put my vats in to make sure they fit. And then I cut, this, I cut the sticks off um, with a really simple saw. I mean, you could use a steak knife or a razor blade, they're dowels. I filed them down a little bit and then I stuck these in and then all I did, these stuck in really well. Um, these, I put a little screw in the back. I just got a couple wood screws from Home Depot. They were brass screws, but uh, you see they're black. At long story short, this was, this, was, this was gray, this was black. These were wood, these were brass. Took it in the backyard or our side yard. I sprayed it down with some matte black spray paint, uh, like Rust-Oleum. The same kind of map, uh, spray paint I use for, for priming um, 3D miniatures that are printed or you know regular ones. And now I have a nice little black thing that costs nothing to make. Six hours or 12 hours of print time between two printers. But now I have a thing where I can you know drain my resin and you know leave it up here for like 15 minutes so I don't have to hold it with shaky hands and I can do other thing while, while I'm draining my resin. But I highly recommend it. The the um, example uh, of this file that I'm going to send you. Or that's in the description. It says to use metal rods. I look for metal rods. The problem is they have like the, all the metal rods I can find at my Home Depot and at my Lowe's were either too short or like three and a half feet tall. So I, I use dowels. Dowels are plenty strong enough. Even if I, that's a plastic vat, even with an aluminum vat, it's not, it's, it's not brain surgery. You just put this down, set it somewhere stable and let it drain for like, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes or however, however, you know, drained out you want your vat to be. But uh, yeah, super simple. Um, you know, I almost bought one of these on, um, uh, for like 40 bucks on eBay or Etsy or something like that. And I'm like, no, I can just make one. And I have several 3D printers and you probably do too, or you will someday if you're watching this video. Uh, but yeah, you can make your own. It's super easy. Uh, so go at it and, and make one.